Cuomo doubts marijuana can be legalized outside their budget. Okay, here's what you do. Marijuana is legal. And then everyone goes, oh, cool. It's legal now. I guess you still have to put regulations on sales, but it doesn't mean you can't just say it's legal. All right, and that means you have to let everyone out of jail that has a marijuana charge. All right, so um, one thing, if I did get um, a delegate in Iowa and then you didn't announce it on the news and then I'm not on the um, list of people you can vote for, um, even though I have obviously been successful enough that people should be able to hear what I, I have to say. And what I have to say is, um, Nevada, you should let me come there and be the dictator of Nevada. And then I'm going to build micro cities that are kind of like the Luxor Hotel, except bigger. And then we're going to have um, skyscrapers inside the micro city. And um, we're going to have a lot of electricity generated on site. And we're going to have the wiring very, very well thought out. It's going to be um, the smartest grid, uh, electrical grid of all time. And then we're going to build a miniature Jerusalem inside with granite, um, well, well, glass roads and crystal streets. You know, the, the crystal streets are granite. And so I was, uh, that's why I'm kind of disappointed about New Hampshire not voting for me at all. Because um, we could have had, like, because this, this is like the old city of Jerusalem style, but made out of granite basically. But not all. It's actually made out of wood, but then like plated with granite and plated with, um, like glass bricks that have lights underneath them. And so whenever the electricity is going, then the, the streets will glow. It'll be super sick. Um, but no matter what, we're going to have batteries um, on site that can... Um, and it, anyways, um, we're also going to have a train and the train's going to go through like little glass beads that have lights underneath them. So it's going to look super sick when you go in there and then the train goes to one place and one place only. There's only one stop in the new old city of Jerusalem and that's the toy shop and um, and then but it's also where the daycare is because there are going to be a lot of people that come there to work that are like super geniuses that have spent all their time thinking about missiles and instead of thinking about missiles they're going to come together and they're going to think about um, photovoltaic energy and <clears throat> about um, building smart cities that are um, that use the use electricity that's from the sun but also might not use electricity at all, might use steam to um, cook. All right, so um, that's why I think Nevada should vote for me, but also because, like, I mean, yeah, I did think that black people in Nevada were kind of racist at one point because I did feel like this guy kind of robbed me, um, but it was almost my fault that I got, almost got robbed. And then, um, and then, yeah, I did get into it with this guy about, he, he thought black people were Jewish, and I... Didn't agree with him at the time, and now to the point that I'm like, I think I might agree with you. I don't even know, because like you know, I feel like stories are mixed, but then, um, I don't know. I feel like I feel like I've I've been mean to black people in Nevada, but then, um, I still feel I feel. But what they know is that I'm not gonna mess with them, and I'm gonna leave them alone, and that I'm like that I'm like. I actually admire someone like Malcolm X more than I do. Martin Luther King Jr. So I understand why black people are the way they are, um, but I also think that you should try to be nicer. Um, generally, uh, <laughs> sometimes you have to be mean. Anyways, so I want to build these pyramids, and then I want to bring a bunch of people together to work and try to figure out the best machine lear learning algorithm for them. Which, by the way, um, I feel like if you're going to use machine learning to catch hackers, then the best way to do it is from an operating system level, um, and that's why I feel like I feel like we're gonna get to the point that we end hacking. And it's it's crazy once you realize like that you you can get to that point. All you have to do is actually uh, think like a real security person from the operating system level. Um, but then that's bad for the economy, and because all they're all there's like all this money in cybersecurity right now. But if it gets that hard for hackers to hack then like, it's bad for business, which is like everything. And that's why it's so confusing trying to understand like what, how to make the economy good. Well, why, don't, why wouldn't we just open up everyone's Wi-Fi and uh, create new firmware? And then like if you want, 
for 50 bucks, we'll get you a new router that like is gapped and then you can have your own, and that way you can use 802.1x. Um, but, um, but like, but still you could open up your, everyone's routers and then you wouldn't even need to do 5g. So, um, but then there, I mean, I understand not wanting people on your internet slowing it down, but I don't feel like they would unless like you have like a, a crowd full of people outside your house with a computer. Um, but I mean, maybe in New York city, but then you can add more routers. I mean, really, or like more routers and more Wi-Fi, um, and just and just use Wi-Fi. But then um, that brings in the question: like, can we create monopolies in? Like right now, T-Mobile is merging with what Sprint. Is that a monopoly almost? Not not quite, because there's still AT&T and there's still Verizon and stuff like that. But that's almost a monopoly. But um, could it almost be good to have a monopoly in telecommunications because you could join these networks through Wi-Fi and you wouldn't even have to do 5G? I, I know everyone wants 5G because they want to be able to drive on a bullet train while playing their video game, you know. But I mean, really, um, do you need? I mean, I, do you really need to do that? <laughs> I mean, we don't really have bullet trains very much in the United States, anyways. And 4G LTE is fine. Like if you're gonna, but. I mean, maybe for self-driving cars, we need 5G. Um, maybe. I mean, really, it's that's a very realistic possibility if we're talking about what I've talked about in the past. Very large scale, like 3D map. Press the image, and then so it's so it kind of the, the computer already knows. But then, but it's still, you don't need 5G for that because I feel like you wouldn't have to send that much data over the network if you compress it enough. But it, is it is it that easy to write it compressed? I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm talking about that that stuff again. 